This video is brought to you by REP Gaming Products. Help protect your deck and support the show by picking up a steel deck box from the link down below. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Seth. Probably better known as Saffron Olive. And it's time. The time has come. You've been asking about it for the last week and a half. It is Unexpected Tron Day here on Much Improved About Nothing. We're finally doing it. We are going to Modern, going to play a league, see if we can get lucky, and spin some Eldrazi Titans off unexpected results. So I have to say going into this, I have literally no idea how this is going to work, which I guess means you could say our results are going to be unexpected. But seriously, I I could see this deck going 05. I guess I could construct a scenario where we spin all Eldrazi off unexpected results on turn 3 and go 5 0. I would say the 05 is probably more likely, but you never know. That's why we play these Much of Brew decks, because you never know. The deck looks crazy on paper with the omnisciences and just so many expensive things, but we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. So, anyway, like usual, we're going to do a super duper quick 30 second deck deck just as a refresher if you want a full breakdown of Unexpected Drawn. Definitely encourage you to follow the link in the description to the instant deck deck for the full breakdown. Anyway, let's talk Unexpected Tron. So the deck starts off looking like a typical Tron deck with all the Tron lands making tons and tons of mana, an expedition map to find it, followed up by even more ramp. Sidmic, Signet, Explore, Secure, Tribe Elder not only ramp us, they also help fix our colors. Unlike some Tron decks, we actually need three full colors of mana. We need this colored mana so we can cast unexpected results, hopefully on like turn three. So unexpected expected results we shuffle our library reveal the top card we can play it if it's a land it goes on the battlefield we bounce unexpected results to our hand so we're hoping to flip some really big powerful stuff with unexpected results like omniscience for example which just lets us cast all of our other stuff for free if we don't hit omniscience we can hit emerkles either version of emerkles seven and all and remember unexpected results does say cast so we do get to get the cast trigger from our emerkles taking extra turns stealing our opponent's turns not only that that, but we have Ulamogs to do some exiling, we have Kozilex to draw some cards, 14 Eldrazi Titans in all. If those Eldrazi Titans are not enough to close out the game, we have Blast of Genius, which can be 15 damage to the opponent's face if we discard an Emrakul. Also draws us our cards to find our important pieces. Mana base wise, we talked about the Tron lands, got some Shock lands, got some basic lands. In the sideboard, we have a ton more ways of cheating Eldrazi into play. Dictate for even more mana, Summoning Trap to fight through counters, Negate can just counter our opponent's counters, follow it up with nature's claim to destroy artifacts, enchantments, and that is unexpected Tron for modern. And that's our Much of Brew deck for this week. So, like I said, I have literally no clue how this is going to go. No expectations, 0550, anywhere in between, anything can happen. But that is the reason to play unexpected results, because you just never know. You never know how the flips will go. So, hopefully we have some good luck, flip some sweet things, and don't just flip Sakura Tribe Elders and Signets and Expedition maps, but we will see. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Let's get to the gameplay videos, and yeah, I'll be back in a bit with the wrap up. All right, much about nothing time. We are playing some Unexpected Tron in Modern, and we're going to keep this. We are a mana source away from turn three unexpected results, assuming nothing goes horribly wrong. So we'll see. Breeding pool go. I mean, Thoughtseize Inquisition are pretty bad. We'll see what our opponent's up to. But we got a plan. I mean, the rest of our hand we will never cast. Mountain. Rift Bolt suspended. Come on, deck. Uh, that's not a land. Well, play Secure Tribe Elder. Pass the turn. We need a land. We need a land for this unexpected results. Oh, this... <laughs> this deck. Look at this hand. I mean, what are the odds? I guess there's so many Eldrazi. The odds are still not that bad that we hit one. Rift Bolts, our face, down to 17. Stomping Ground, untapped. Opponent, Searing Blaze. Well, Sax Occur, Tribe Elder. Grab a... Uh, I guess we gotta get a Forest. Actually, let's get an Island. All right, deck. Give us a Mana Source. Give us some luck. We need a land first. Well, that's not a land. Play Occur, Tribe Elder, pass the turn. I guess this lets us spin the wheel next turn. Whether or not that's gonna be fast enough remains to be seen. Oh my god, Mono Searing! Ah, no! We are not a deck that should be getting wrecked by Searing Blaze. Come on, we need some luck. 
we get to spin the wheel. And, oh, we drew another Eldrazi. This is not going to end well. Unexpected results. Come on. Come on, Dak. Come on. Yes, we have all <laughs> five Eldrazi in hand. Oh, you could do it, Dak. You could do it. Come on, Emrakul. We still got three Emrakuls. Come on, Dak. Come on. Oh, my goodness. The nightmare. It's the nightmare. Well, <laughs> unexpected. <laughs> Actually, that was very expected. We have all... Yeah. Now, that's just game. Bulls are phased down to eight. Wow. Wowie zowie. Opponent passes. I guess we can draw another unexpected results as kind of a real card. Or another Simic Signet. Yep. Play Simic Signet. We are... We just passed the halfway mark for casting our cheapest Eldrazi. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Down to five. Cracks Arid Mesa. Opponent gets a mountain. Skull crack to two. Dead to any non land, including Lightning Bolt. All right, well, we got to cast unexpected results. The results were not good, but we did get to cast unexpected results. Are we supposed to be bringing in Nature's Claim as life gain? <laughs> Blow up our own Signet, gain four. Gotcha, burn. I mean, I guess it kills Eidolon. That can't be worth it. That just can't. That can't be a legitimate plan. No, no, no. All right, go down one Omniscience. Go down a Blast of Genius. Go up a couple Negates. And run it like that. I mean, we can't bring in too many Negates and whatnot because then our unexpected results get worse. Oh, dear. Dear Lord. Dear Lord, this deck. Well, we get to be on the play. Come on, let's just get a nice, a nice little hand. All right, well, this gets us to a fast, unexpected results. So Breeding Pool, tapped, past the turn. Turn three unexpected results, and we don't just have Mono Eldrazi in hand. Although, that could change over the next turn. Inspiring Vantage. And there's a Swift Spear. Opponent, getting in for one. Yup, down to 19. Players is mine... Play Secure Tribe Elder. Pass the turn. Oh man, it's the dream. Let's see if the dream holds up. Inspiring Vantage. We are going to have to shock ourselves to opponent. Getting in. Well, we will block Sack. Block Secure Tribe Elder. Sack Secure Tribe Elder. Grab an island. Stay at 19. There's Eidolon. We draw Emrakul. Oh, we wanted that in our deck. Well, Breeding Pool untapped. This is... This is all we could really do. Unexpected result. Oh my god, this deck. And we take damage. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Maybe 14 Eldrazi is not enough. So far we've cast two unexpected results, and the end result has been Simic Signet, Secure Tribe Elder. Opponent. Untap land. Goes attacking. Well, let's block. And sack. I guess we're hoping to draw more unexpected results. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to kill ourselves here. There's not really much we can do, though, other than try to assemble Tron. Expedition map, crack it. Like, we're taking damage, we just got to hope our opponent can't kill us. I mean, I expect that they can. I would be shocked if they couldn't. But we can't just not try to get to our Eldrazi in hopes that, I don't know, we draw a second unexpected results for the Kerr Tribe Elder. Our luck has not been good so far. Helix... Yeah, I mean, we're just, we're so dead. We're dead to any one spell, and our opponent's got four cards in hand. Asking a lot for our opponent to have literal nothing. Well, our deck did what our deck's supposed to do, to some extent, which is cast unexpected results. Unfortunately, as the name suggests, the results are, uh, unexpected, and they were not good this game. Yep, there's a lethal skull crack. Okay, 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 okay. Well, the nice thing about unexpected results is if you keep casting it, sooner or later, you beat the odds and get an Eldrazi and you just win. Didn't happen this game, but we had a chance. Like, in theory, you could see how this deck could work. Like, both games we cast unexpected results. If we hit a Emrakul, an Ulamog, whatever, we just win those games. When instead we hit two mana ram spells and lost, but you can see how it could work, like theoretically, on a theoretical level. <laughs> oh God. All right, much brew about nothing time. Playing some unexpected <laughs> Tron in modern. And this, ha like, what do you do with these hands? Seriously, like, look at this hand. We have two Tron pieces. We have an expedition app. So in theory, we are one Tron piece away from having Tron. 
On the other hand, we have 15, 28, 38, 48 just under 50 converted mana cost of spells. So if we just draw like more Eldrazi, we never cast a single thing this game. So, I mean, I think we keep, like, I think this is a keeper just because in theory, we're like an expedition map away from just going to town, sort of. I mean, we still need to draw, I guess, one more land. We'll have nine mana. If we tutor up a Tron piece, draw a Tron piece, Pony has a swamp. And the rack. Oh dear. Well, there goes all the Eldrazi from hand. Take zero. Oh dear. Oh dear. Blast of genius. We'll play Power Plant. Pass the turn. Ha. Huh. Okay. Swamp for our opponent. Wrench Mind. No artifacts. Well, let's discard double Emeracles. <laughs> 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 yup, we showed him. We showed him. Uh, do we even crack this? I think we don't. In case we draw a Tron land here, we want to know which one to search up. All right, Breeding Pool. Pass the turn. I mean, I guess having the Eldrazi in our deck is good. That improves our chances of hitting it with, like, Sakur Tribe Elder. Huh. Blast of Genius. I wonder if there's any argument that we should be searching up. Is this another Wrench Vine? Oh, dear. Smallpox. Yep, that's main deck land hate. Well, discard Kozilek. Sag Breeding Pool, I guess. Shovel everything back in. Mutavolt. Opponent. Passing. We take one. Come on, Tron Land. Not Power Plant. Oh my goodness. Alright, play Simic Signet. Pass the turn. There's a Dark Confinant. Yep. Yup, yup. Card draw for our opponent. We take one. Well, crack expedition map. Get a tower. Play a tower. Play Sakura Tribe Elder. Pass the turn. So, in theory, if our opponent doesn't have discard or smallpox, which, well, good luck, Liliana, in theory, we could Blast of Genius next turn. Opponent's at 16. Well, let's see. We need to draw an untapped land. We can sack Sakura Tribe Elder, get a mountain, draw land. All right, opponent's going to fire up Mutavolt. Gets in. Well, I mean, that is our plan. We block, we sack, grab our mountain. Well, this is it. Come on, untapped land. Untapped land, Blast of Genius, discard Emrakul if we draw it. Opponent dies to Bob. Come on, land, please. All right, stomping ground. Untapped. We got to try it. Blast of Genius. Uh, Blast of Genius, you. Oh, come on. Come on, Emrakul. Come on, Emrakul. Blast of Genius. Discard Omniscience. Pass the turn. Well, that's not exactly enough. Uh, we hit out unexpected results if it somehow remains in our hand. Dark Confinant down to four with a small pox. Plays a land. Opponent might just want to get down Liliana here. But then we get a spin, and we have every one of our 14 Eldrazi in the deck. Well, we'll see what our opponent does. Gets in. Not tapping. That does suggest Liliana. Yup, hits us. Down to 12. Come on, play that Liliana. And then unexpected results. Do your thing. Liliana. Yup. Takes up. We discard Forest. Yup. Opponent discards Fatal Push. Oh, man. Moment of truth. We take one. Emrakul. Oh, why couldn't that be the top card? I guess it would get shuffled. One, two, three... I mean, this is, this is it. One, two, three, four. <sighs> Come on, unexpected results. Be good to us once. <gasps> ah! It's an Emrakul! <laughs> got him! We got him! We got him! <laughs> oh, Lord. Lord, Lord. Oh, we take one. Sure. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> it works sometimes. You never know. You never know. <laughs> Attack our opponent. Yes. Yes. It happened. <laughs> oh, that makes up for some of the secure tribe elders. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Lord, that was great. That was insanely good. Uh, all right. How do we sideboard against this deck? Probably nature's claims to deal with rack effects. Going down. Oh, wow. 
that was that was kind of the dream we were living it go down omniscience go down explorers do we want to bring in a backup way to get eldrazi probably opponent does kind of have land destruction like maybe bring in a couple summoning traps go down one blast of genius and maybe one promise end try it like that uh okay ish nature's claim is good we got a bit of ramp and blast of genius is also good i mean it's so hard to judge against this deck because opponent has so much discard there's a thought sees opponent has their choice opponent all right takes blast of genius that eh, makes sense really hoping our opponent does not have smallpox that would be bad um stomping rounds go all right that's a kozilek we're a bit away from casting it hopefully we don't get smallpoxed swamp come on no smallpoxing no smallpox no smallpox opponents thinking over their options inquisition Ugh. we really wanted to resolve simic signet maybe they take nature's claim to protect iraq can't take our emeralds upside 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 to having all 10 plus mana stuff in your hand harder for your opponent to inquisition it natural inquisition protection we might say hmm yeah land simic signet pass the turn this map can get us to unexpected results mana and then you never know spin the wheel uh dark confidant mm -hmm. and mutavault opponent passes we'll play map play stomping grounds tapped pass the turn oh uh, we're so far away from casting anything confidant wrench mind Ugh. all right means we're gonna tar start taking damage from shrieking affliction opponent gets in come on unexpected results unexpected results opponent hits us down to 18 another dark confidant okay okay deck actually blast of genius at some point could be sweet grab a tower come on deck unexpected results do it you can do it come on explore well let's explore i guess there's some weird hmm play tower play secure tribe elder all right so our outs i think are increasing let's see what our opponent gets inquisition dead card thought sees not quite a dead card urborg thought sees takes an eldrazi wrench mine takes both eldrazi we shuffle everything back in all right so this is it we have we have two potential outs here we can draw unexpected results get lucky we can draw blast of genius hopefully kill our opponent one two three four five so we got a sack secure tribe elder we did shuffle in let's look at our deck real quick and see what outs we actually have two blast of geniuses two summoning traps four unexpected results so those are the eight cards that we want to draw any of those eight are excellent we will take a forest blast of genius might be the sweetest we take three come on deck Ooh. okay 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 pass the turn opponent swamp and swamp oh boy that's a somebody trap we hit one of the eight we might be stealing this inquisition okay seize the summoning trap what do you got opponent land liliana all right well here comes the time has come be good to us summoning trap if we somehow whiff on this it would be very sad because we have like a million we have so many eldrazi in our deck that's an emergal the eon storm we will take it pass the turn i think we got there i think we got there yup we will discard nothing opponent already played a land so they need a one mana edict i don't think that exists and big mama emerkel is lethal we're gonna win a game with un unexpected tron yeah uh-huh sure bonus passes i mean do they have a plan i don't think so and our pool scoops it up oh we did it we gotta win we gotta win unexpected tron taking down eight rack we could do it we just gotta get lucky <laughs> sweet oh all right <laughs> much brew time unexpected tron and we have all the unexpected results let's see if our opponent just thought seizes us into oblivion swamp 
thought seizes us into oblivion. Well, we do have a little bit of protection. They could take Explore, I guess, to keep us from ramping into unexpected results. Yep, takes unexpected results. Boo. We draw a Sucker Tribe Elder. Well, Breeding Pool tapped. Pass the turn. Come on, no second Thought Seize. One Thought Seize is fine, because we have two. And this Sucker Tribe Elder guarantees we get to it on time. Wooded Foot Hills. Opponent cracks it. And then, I mean, we still gotta get lucky, but it's possible. That's what the deck's trying to do. Just take the spin, hope for the best. Overgrown Tomb, untap, down to 14. And scavenging ooze, sure. Well, Power Plant and Secure Tribe Elder. And Moments of Truth incoming. Moment of Truth number one, does our opponent have another Thought Seize? Moment of Truth number two, what? No. Oh, God. God. No. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. All right. They do have another Thought Seize. Opponent goes attacking. <sighs> yeah, we're going to block Sack. It does let our opponent grow the ooze, which is not good. Uh, double Thought Seize. Maybe this deck needs Leyline in the sideboard. That's how we got wrecked. I'm not sure what they're eating now. They're already blocked. That's how we got wrecked against Death Shadow 2. Opponent gets in. Well, we can Burton Genie our way through this turn. Explore one, breeding pool untapped, explore two. Oh dear. Oh, this deck. All right, pass the turn. That wasn't good. We cast two explorers, but hit zero lands. Okay. I mean, we have a weird way of stealing this game if we somehow get to Blast of Genius, but we really needed to hit lands there because our opponent just keeps playing stuff. Dark Confidant. If we go land, land, it might be fast enough. But that's what we need. Land, land, blast of genius. Opponent hits us for, si uh, for six. Yup. We also need our opponent not to have a thought seize. But that's, that's our plan now. Land, land, blast. Down to 12. Come on, deck. Expedition map counts. I mean, we could still be dead here. I think we're dead to... I think we're dead to another blood braid. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess we're not. We drop to one. It would cut off shock lands. We are dead to like two bolts. Opponent hits us for eight, down to four. We also would need to draw a big enough Eldrazi to be lethal. Yeah, let's see. What's our opponent got? Ooze. Land. Oh, come on, deck. Come on, deck. Give us an untap land. Explore. That doesn't... Well, so we need to explore into the missing Tron piece... Boy, that's a stretch. Oh. Oh my god. That's the missing Tron piece. Oh my lord. Oh, oh. Come on. Come on, Emrakul. Oh, not like that. Wow! Discard Omniscience. Play a tap land. Play Expedition Map. Our opponent can kill their own Bob. Wow. Wow, we did the hard part. We got lucky enough to explore into the Tron piece. Uh, we need to draw any of our Emrakuls to just win the game. Jeez. Jeez, we are so close. Thossies is brutal against this deck, isn't it? All right, let's go down Omniscience. Go up Summoning Traps. I think this sideboard is probably pretty bad. Go down one Explorer for Summoning Trap. Try it like that. Whew! Alright, we're on the play, and, well, we're gonna have Quick Tron. We do have to find something to do with it. If our opponent can't Thought Seize our Blast, that's something. Expedition Map, go. Pass the turn. So we have turn three Tron. This is nice, though, because assuming our opponent doesn't have, like, Fulminator or something, it does turn on a lot of Eldrazi. There's the Thought Seize. Opponent takes our Blast, yup, and passes. We'll play Power Plant. Um, play Simic Signet. Pass the turn. We can get the Tron piece next turn. We can't. We don't have anything we can cast for seven mana. <laughs> all right, opponent scoops it up. Uh, sure. Little does our opponent know that all of our finishers are ten plus mana, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah, run it back. Let's do that again. Opponent's on the play. Oh, come on. No, no thought season Inquisition. That's asking a lot, but we have Tron if they don't. Wow, they don't? They don't. Unfortunately, seven mana just is not a lot in this deck. Opponent cracks. 
I think we actually need to draw green mana. Jeez, I wonder if there's an argument we're supposed to just search up a green source for these Sakura Tribe Elders. We'll see what we draw. Blood Crypt, untapped. There's a Goyf. It's pretty small. Opponent passes. Now there's a green source. We'll play Power Plant, pass the turn. Maybe we can just get the early scoop again. Our opponent could have Fulminator. That's a thing. Opponent. Collective Brutality. Actually doesn't do anything here. I guess it grows the Goyf and drains us for two. So we're going to have Tron, but we're not going to have a payoff yet. Opponent gets in for two. Down to 16. Uh, crack map. Get tower. Hmm. What do we do? Let's breeding pool untapped. Play Sakura Tribe Elder. Play Expedition Map. Pass the turn. Our cards are just so expensive. Opponent. Inquisition takes our other Sakura Tribe Elder. Yep. Grows the Goyf. Wow. Lightning Bolts. Well, we'll sack. Grab a mountain. Is it going to be fast enough? That's the question. Opponent hits us for five. Oh, they have a land too. Doesn't do much though. Come on, big draw, big draw. Opponent hits us, down to nine. Yep. Seven, eight, nine. All right, pass the turn. Hope we live. Oh, another land. Are they gonna unexpected results us with Blood Braid into lethal? They're gonna try. Come on, no. Unreal. All right, and that is the game, boys and girls. That is the game. Jeez. Yeah, now we just can't win. Wow, that is, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Sack map, grab a tower. And we're just, we're a mana short from doing anything. What can we draw? Unexpected results, I guess, is our only real out. Oh, wow. I guess Ulama. No! No! No way! All right. Well, unexpected results work in both ways. Uh, yeah. So, opponent. Wow. I guess we can't complain because we're playing unexpected results. Uh, so we're hoping to spin the wheel and get lucky. And our opponent just beat us at their own game. They spun the Bloodbait reel and got pretty much absurdly lucky looking at their deck like they have a million things they could hit managed to a sideboard fulminator rather than a million dead cards and uh and their last card in hand was surgical and we scoop it up well that was unexpected all right much brew about nothing time playing some unexpected <laughs> tron in modern and we have a lot of power plants we can play a lot of them. Hopefully we draw into some non-power plant lands. Are we going to get Thoughtseize like always? Man, one thing we've learned about this deck is Thoughtseize is really brutal. Really brutal. I think roughly 100% of our losses have been to Thoughtseize decks. Which, to be fair, Thoughtseize is a high percentage of the metagame. It's just like the best card in modern. Uh, but... I don't think it's quite as high of a percentage as we are making it look like. Yeah, like 25% of decks play Thoughtseize, but we're running like 75% against Thoughtseize decks. Takes an Eldrazi? That's an odd choice. Well, play Power Plant. Go exploring. Play Power Plant. Pass the turn. I'm surprised they didn't just take the Explore. Breeding Pool. Untapped. And Prism. Oh, is this a combo deck? Omniscience is not a great draw. <laughs> I actually think Omniscience probably shouldn't be in this deck. We sideboarded out a lot. I think it's just, it's, it gives you another hit off unexpected results, but man, it's kind of a stretch to see it actually working. Is this a Tezzeret? Tezzeret's a fast clock, and we don't really have a way to, yeah, it's a Tezzeret. All right, they're taking up Tezzeret. Well, that's better than just beating down with this prism. Gets another prism. Opponent, passing. We'll play Expedition Map. Play Power Plant. Pass the turn. This sounds horrible, but rather than a Tron land, I think we have to Expedition Map for a mountain. 
It depends on what our opponent does. If they thought Z's, our plans could change. Prism. Land. Takes up. Whiffs. Hmm. The question is, how scared do we need to be of, of counters? I don't think this deck has counters. In the main deck, at least. I think it's a Thopter Foundry deck. I mean, we're going to go for the gold. Crack Expedition Map. Oh, man. Get a Mountain. Ooh, and a Tron piece. Well, play the Mountain. And we're going to Blast. Come on, Big Mama Emrakul. Come on, Emrakul. I guess the nice thing about this, assuming our opponent can't do anything here, the upside is if we whiff, we can just discard something and kill Tesseract. Like, if we have lethal, we kill our opponent. If we don't draw Emrakul... F oh my god, it's... Huh! <laughs> <laughs> got him uh yeah <laughs> all right well <laughs> this deck <laughs> oh my god this deck what i was saying is worst case we just discard like omniscience and kill tezzeret but best case we draw big mom emergal and uh 15 yeah good game shouldn't have cracked those fetch lands opponent shouldn't have cracked those fetch lands <laughs> uh, all right so what do we want against this deck? Jace's, Tezzerat's, bunch of annoying artifact stuff. I don't even know if they have counters in the sideboard. They might just not have counters, period. They're looking to Thopter Foundry Sword of the Meek. The question is, how much do we weaken our deck? Like, are we just trying to do our ram thing? We can go down the Omnisciences. Do we just try to do our ram thing and trust that our Adrazi are going to win the game? Or do we try to fight our opponent to some extent by bringing in, like, nature's claims, negates? That's the question. Let's bring in negate nature's claim. Go down one explore. I guess dealing with combo pieces like Thopter Foundry Sword of the Meek is pretty important. So let's bring in two nature's claims, one negate. We don't want to cut too many hits for unexpected results. Yeah, let's try it like that. Wow, this deck. Power Plant Mine Exped... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That is a spicy hand. Inquisition. Ugh, opponent can take our map, which keeps us from getting to Tron. We are going to start getting some spins with unexpected results, though. Yeah, it takes map. Opponent passes. Power Plant. Go. Well, I guess we need Signet to stay on the battlefield or make it to the battlefield, and another land. Play mine, play Signet. Pass the turn. Well, if nothing goes wrong here, it's going to be time to spin the wheel. <laughs> the happy good time wheel. Do we get a secure tribe elder and cry? Do we get an Emrakul and win? Somewhere in between? You never know. You never know with unexpected results. <laughs> Breeding pool, untapped. Opponent, passing. I'll play the mine. Unexpected results. Unexpected results. Wow. That was as bad as it gets. Yikes. That's the trouble with sideboarding in this deck. We just, we, we, we hit a nature's claim. Boy, that was, huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> unexpected. That was the word I was searching for. That was unexpected. Unexpected results into unexpected results into nature's claim. Not good, not good. Opponent thirsts. Jeez, we could have just won. We had two hits to win the game there, or essentially win the game, and it did not work out. Even just hitting like a Tron land would have been good. Even any land. That was like the worst possible outcome for that to end with one of our, we brought in one negate and two, ah, ah, and two nature's claims. So ending the chain with one of those is about as bad as it gets. Liliana? Yep. Takes up. Well, let's discard Emrakul. Shuffle everything back in. Opponent passing. Well, we get another spin. And we're not going to hit the nature's claim. I'll spin the wheel. Oh my goodness. These unexpected results have been as bad as you can imagine. Whew. Boy, those have been brutal. Well, that's unexpected results for ya. Prism for our opponent. Takes up. We will discard Nature's Claim. Somehow we got to keep this Liliana from going ultimate. Opponent passing. 
A place occur, Tribe Elder. Pass the turn. We gotta hold on to this power plant to discard because we need to be able to blast most likely this Liliana next turn. Pony does have a sword in the meek in the graveyard. So they're close to pulling off their combo. Opponent. Ensnaring bridge. Okay. Ooh, new ensnaring bridge. Sweet. The art on this one is pretty good. Better than the masterpiece. I didn't really like the masterpiece bridge art. And I'm kind of a connoisseur of ensnaring bridge art. <laughs> Opponent's thinking over their options. One card in hand. Do they take... I think they're thinking, do we take up Liliana? Like, is it worth discarding our last card? Pretty sure that's where our opponent's at. Oh, they're going to play their last card. Oh, it's a Whirr? Huh. Whirr X2. Well, we're going to sack the Cur Tribe Elder. Get our mount in. I'm assuming they just get their other combo piece. Yep, there's Sopter Foundry. We discard Power Plant. So now we get to... Well, this is going to be interesting. We draw... Emrakul... So we blast Liliana. I mean, Emrakul still wins us this game, I think. Well, maybe. They do have a bridge now. Anyway, we blast our opponent, discard Emrakul, kill Liliana, play Breeding Pool, tapped. Yeah, I don't know if this is enough. If we draw a tower, we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we can... Uh, we need to draw the Tron piece. It's a breeding pool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Play it tapped. Yeah, now we're just going to get overwhelmed with Thopters. Man, we had a lot of spin. Spins for the win, and we just did not spin into them. Once they start making... Wow. I can't believe our opponent's not making Thopters. Like, that's, uh, that's the whole reason to play these cards, is to make a bunch of Thopters on your opponent's end step. They have the sword in the graveyard. Like, they just sack a prism, and they they go to town. Takes Ulamog, shuffles back in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Well, if our opponent's not going to make Thopters, that gives us a little more a little more breathing room. We should be under a lot of pressure already. Well, okay, okay, okay. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Uh, unexpected results. If it's a land card, you may put it on the battlefield and return unexpected results to its owner's hand. Yes. So we get a land. We get to unexpected results again. Number two. Yes, it's an island. Get back unexpected results. Pass the turn. Come on. no. Oh, no thopters. Our opponent is not thopping. Why are they not making thopters? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a big draw. That's a huge draw. Well, let's start with unexpected results. Land on the battlefield. Unexpected results. Blast of genius, our opponent. Wow. That's a tower, too. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Well, let's discard Sakura Tribe Elder. Play tower. Pass the turn. See if our opponent remembers to start making Thopters. Well, we got to see the good ramp aspect of unexpected results. No thopters. Opponent finds a thought seize. Well, let's let it resolve. I think our opponent's in pretty bad shape, no matter what they take. All right. They leave us with the Emrakul. So we nature's claim the bridge. Our opponent's playing this pretty poorly. They should have had us dead a long time ago. I mean, no offense, opponent's probably just learning this deck. It's a new deck. There's a Thopter. The problem for our opponent is we have more than enough mana to Emrakul and start attacking, and we're at 20, so these Emrakul attacks hopefully are enough to beat Thopters. I mean, I guess they can just keep making a ton of Thopters. I don't know. Hopefully we draw into something to go with this Emrakul. Like, drawing another Emrakul would be great, Blast of Genius for card draw. Basically, now that we have this much mana, anything in our deck is great. There's no, there's not really any bad draws anymore. The downside of this is we are just going to eat a bunch of Thopters each turn. Until we find a way to get rid of Thopter Foundry. But since they took Ulamog, we did have to kill the bridge. So opponent makes Thopters, makes Thopters. 
Meg Stopters. Yep. But we do get two draws. We get a draw for this turn, then we get an extra turn. Expedition map. Well, play map. Crack it. Get a land out of our deck. Take a tower. Play the tower. Cast an Emrakul. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Get an extra turn. Come on, big draw. Big draw. Something to get rid of this Foundry. An Eldrazi, an Emrakul, any of that stuff. Come on, deck. Simic Signet, that's not on the list. Well, get in with Emrakul. Opponent does a bunch of sacking. And blocks. So now we're stuck in this weird loop where Emrakul attacks are just going to be eating Thopters. Also, we know our opponent has Liliana the Bales in, our de in their deck. So we do really need to draw something. Tezzeret. I don't know about this play. And if they hit a bridge, it's good. Oh, man, they miss? That's painful for our opponent. I'm going to make some Thopters. Come on, deck. Oh, more mana. Oh, my God. Opponent sacks. Opponent sacks. Oh, dear. We're fizzling at a very bad time. Opponent sacks. We did force our opponent to use some of their extra mana, which is a small win all their extra mana yep attack Tezzeret annihilate 6 opponent does a bunch of sacking blocks uh, pass the turn what does our opponent find they get this Tezzeret spin takes up witch bane orb okay that's not very good for our opponent Mox Opal. Playing Witchbane Orb eats a lot of their mana. But they're going to play it. Okay. I don't know about that plan. That's a lot less Thopters they can make. Come on, Eldrazi. Wow, we're still drawing mana. Well, attack Tezzeret. Opponent's going to make some Thopters. Thopter. 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 And Thopter. So attack Tezzeret again. Sack, sack, sack. Sack, sword, and land. Not sacking sword. Okay. Opponent blocks. I'll play expedition map. How many lands are left? We gotta have a higher percentage of hits and misses at this point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands, two maps, three secure tribe elders, one signet. And then as far as hits, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right, 17 hits out of 36 cards. So we're running, we've been running about 50-50 for hits, and we've whiffed like three in a row. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we hit soon. The problem is if our opponent finds an ensnaring bridge, then we got to hit before before we can keep attacking ironworks interesting land cracks the land plays ironworks i don't know if that's wise or not all right deck come on give us a hit here comes the thopters oh does this let our opponent make infinite thopters yeah i guess it does all right jeez Man, our deck just betrayed us. It betrayed us. Ah, uh, we had a lot of turds to draw something, but we didn't. We didn't hit. We just kept drawing mana. I'm not gonna scoop though. I think like our opponent can make a lot of thopters, gain a lot of life. We do have annihilator though, and we're not gonna mill out because our deck keeps shuffling in and our opponent's doesn't. But we need to draw something to answer Tezzeret this turn or we lose. And we draw a Secure Tribe Elder. All right. And now we scoop it up. Yep. Well, we were like 50-50, almost 50-50 to draw something big for a lot of turns. And unexpected, unexpected. It was unexpected. Jeez, we had, we had a lot of chances. We're going to go up one more Negate, go down one more Explore. All right, we're on the play. And all right, I mean, it's a fast Tron hand. We'll see. We can't actually play anything right away 
But we're not that far away from Kozilek. Polluted Delta. Opponent cracks it. Swamp. And Inqua Whiffin. <laughs> That's upside head playing all really expensive cards. <laughs> you blank the Inquisitions. Opponent passing. Not sure about another Emrakul the Eon Storm. Island for our opponent. Welding Jar. And Prism. Well, let's crack. Tower Mine Power Plant. So we have Tron. We need one more Tron land to get to this Kozilek. Unfortunately, we do not have green mana. Well, there's Tron. Come on, Urza's Tower off the top for Kozilek. Imagine if we just had Karn. We would uh, we would have Karned, Karned him. Blast of Genius, we have enough mana. We just don't... The colors, the colors are rough. Inquisition, going to take our Nature's Claim. I guess Simic Signet's kind of a good draw. Simic Signet, land, Blast of Genius. That would be legit. Urza's Tower is the best draw, because then we just Kozilek. Watery Grave, untapped. And Liliana. And we'll discard an Emrakul. It's a ways, a ways away from being good. So we do got to deal with this Liliana before it goes ultimate. Opponent discards a land, down to one card in hand. Really, deck? Really? Really? <laughs> oh, we shuffle right back into another Emrakul. Well, now any Tron land gets down Kozilek. Any blue source gets us to Blast of Genius. I guess Expedition Map also gets us to Blast of Genius. Okay. Not sure what our opponent's going to extract. Going to take our Blast of Genius. All right. Well, come on, Tron land. Tron land. We need us a Tron land. Like, yes, Kozilek's going to die to Liliana. Losing Blast is actually kind of annoying. We did want that. It does increase our odds slightly of drawing a Tron land. And if we get down Kozilek, at least it refills our hand and it makes our opponent tick down Liliana, which would be good. Because I'm very afraid of Liliana ultimate here. We also have a lot of bad draws that we can't cast. Takes up. Well, opponent's empty-handed. It's all about racing this Liliana ultimate. Discards an Ironworks. Emrakul shuffles back in. Come on, deck. Not an Emrakul. Don't do that to us again. Opponent passing. Tron land? It's a Tron land. That is good news. All right. Kozilek. Refill ye old hand, and that should do it. Opponent's going to need a mind twist, because now we have Ulamog to get rid of Liliana, and we are off to the races. Whoo! Yep, Thought sees us. Sure. Wow, does this get our opponent to ultimate? Well, I guess it doesn't, because they got to take down, so they're not going to ultimate. I guess we could have... Well, I forgot Kozilek has an ability. We probably should have discarded map to counter that. Takes a Ulamog. Takes down. Yeah, we're still super fine, though. Opponent passes. Unexpected results. So we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So play Simic Signet. 7, 8, 9. Play Simic Signet. Stomping Grounds untapped. Play old school Kozilek. I mean, it should be really hard for our opponent to win from here. They don't have any combo pieces. Kozilek draws us Tron pieces. Yeah. Does this get us to Emrakul next turn? Uh, we will discard a Breeding Pool. So we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, we're actually a mana short. Okay. Actually, no. We can explore into double Tron piece. That gets us to Emrakul. <laughs> uh, Kozilek, it's back. Yeah, so let's just explore Tron piece, Tron piece, and this should be enough for Emrakul. Did I miscount? Oh, we're one short? We are one short. Well, I guess this means we Kozilek. I mean, I think we're still fine. We did miscount a bit. Draw some cards. Play Sakura Tribe Elder. Play Expedition Map. Pass the turn. I mean, why, once our deck gets to this point, there's not very much losing to it. We can just keep we just keep casting Eldrazi. Like the downside of fourteen Eldrazi in the deck is when we're not doing anything, our deck really doesn't do anything. But once we get to this point, like it's like, oh, you kill our Eldrazi, we draw another one, we draw a bunch of cards or more Eldrazi. Like, look at this, look at this ending. Oh man, we were so close to winning game two, but we'll take it. I mean. 
<laughs> the deck sort of works. It has some super good matchups, that's for sure. Alright, much improved about nothing time. We are looking to unexpectedly cast some Eldrazi, and I mean, I guess we keep. We have two of three Tron pieces, which gets a... Ooh, Sakura Tribe Elder is kind of sweet. Hmm... Urs is mine. Go. So I think we take a turn off of playing Tron next turn to use Sakura Tribe Elder to get an island. We're basically trying to work our way to this Blast of Genius in a relatively timely manner. Dark Confinant, ugh. Lots of cards for our opponent. Hmm. All right, well, new plan. Uh, can we risk this getting got by discard? I guess, like, Coligan's Command hits it anyway, but then it's taking our opponent's turn. We're just going to secure a Tribe Elder. Ideally, what we'll do is... Hopefully dodge discard and expedition map for a Tron piece and next turn and have Tron set up. Let's see what our opponent hits. It's a goif. There's the thought sees. Well, now we got to see what our opponent takes. Blast of Genius is they might actually have to just take Blast of Genius and try to play through Tron because Blast of Genius is super lethal. Like, if we resolve that, our opponent's going to be at a low enough life total where our opponent dies. On the other hand, just leaving us with Tron is sketchy. All right, they leave us with the Blast of Genius. Sure. Well, we got a plan. We got a plan. Opponent goes attacking. Oh, block. Saxakura Tribe Elder. Grab a island. Opponent tap land. And passes. That's a pretty good draw. Let's explore... Play Power Plant, play Stomping Ground. And, I mean, this is it. Opponent needs another Thoughtseize, or we just get the Blast Skill. Come on, no Thoughtseize, no Thoughtseizes. Anything but Thoughtseize. Tarmogoyf, that's not a Thoughtseize. Do they have Thoughtseize number two? Or does Blast of Genius get the job done? Does our opponent even realize how deadly this Blast of Genius is? That's the other question. Opponent gets in. Yup. Down to 18. Goyf. Whoo, we got there. All right, play Power Plant, and we will Blast of Genius, our opponent's face. We already got Little Mama Emrakul in hand, and that should do it. 13 damage. <laughs> Turn 4 kill. There was no Troning, but opponent dealt a bit of damage to themselves. Maybe Thought sees the wrong card. Hard to begrudge someone for putting us off Tron, like... If you have a chance to put someone off Tron, I probably just got to do it. So we're going to bring in a couple summoning traps just to have more ways to get Eldrazi on the battlefield that are a bit cheaper. Not very convinced of this sideboard. That's, I mean, the deck is super sweet, but this sideboard, eh, 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 eh. not 100% sure on that. Huh. So what do we do? Maybe we just bring in two, go down on Omniscience. Yeah, let's try it like that. And, okay, I mean, this hand's fine. I don't think we can ship it. It's a little weak to discard. There's a thought seize. I mean, we got a plan, and the plan is we get to these Eldrazi eventually. Don't mind drawing unexpected results. I mean, let's tower go. So now, uh, our opponent needs a thought, another thought seize. Or I guess they can Inquisition our Elder to slow us down. There's Bob again. Or, I mean, worst case, we get a free... Oh, man, it's another one. All right, well, now our opponent needs double Thought Seize to keep us from getting a spin. What will happen definitely remains to be seen. Whiffing is very possible. Opponent hits a land. Bloodstained Mire. Goes attacking. Well, we will block, and we will sack. Need this mana to be able to... Unexpected results next turn. Grab our Mountain. Opponent cracks. They have like Liliana. Man, this is a big spin. This is the spin for the win. There's Liliana. Uh, now we have a really hard choice. Uh, I'm sure there's a correct mathematical answer to this. So our problem now is we can discard this Ulamog. Doesn't shuffle back into our deck. We can get to discard Kozilek, does shuffle back into our deck, along with two other cards. All right, we're actually going to do the math. Hypergeometric calculator exists for this specific reason. 
So what gives us a better chance of hitting? If we shuffle in three cards, including an Eldrazi, or leave these cards and keep the Eldrazi. Uh, all right, we got we got to do it. We got to run the numbers. So we'll have 49 cards. Uh, let's go with 50. 50 cards in our deck. We will have 12 Eldrazi. Sample size is one, and we need one hit. So 24% exactly. But let's say sample size goes up to 53. We have 13 Eldrazi. 24.5%. All right. Well, the correct play by half of a percent is to discard Codes Like Butcher Truth. So we'll do that. Apparently, shuffling in one Eldrazi is okay if we're since we're shuffling in those other cards. We'll play the island and spin it. Spin the wheel. Come on. Come on, deck. This is your time. Unexpected results? What do we get? What do we get? Come on, Emrakul. Any Eldrazi is great. All right. Well... That's not the greatest. Hit a land, get back unexpected results, pass the turn. We do get to spin again next turn. Opponent gets a land. Collective Brutality. Gonna take our results. Well, they still need a Thought Seize, though, because we have two unexpected results. Tap land. Takes up. We will discard Ulamog. Opponent's getting in, getting in. All right, come on. Unexpected results. You can do it this time. This is it. This is the one. We draw Sakura Tribe Elder. Well, let's spin the wheel. Come on, Dak. Unexpected result. Oh, it's a, it's a Ulamog. It's an Ulamog. That's the one. Boom, boom. Liliana down. Bob down. Breeding pool untapped. Run out Sakura Tribe Elder for protection from another Liliana. Pass the turn. And unexpected. I think it's doing it. I think we got it. We'll see. I mean, our opponent could have answers to this, but we're in really good shape. <laughs> it took two, but we got there. We got there. It kind of works. I can't believe this deck kind of works, but it actually really does kind of work. Opponent. All right. Passing. Oh, God. God almighty. All right. Well, I mean, blast you. Emrakul drawn, please. Aww. Well, let's discard tower. Go attacking. That was disappointing. I mean, I guess we can't complain. We unexpected results into Ulamog. Go attacking. Eat away some of our opponent's deck. Opponent down to four. Play the mine. Pass the turn. All right, opponent. What do we exile? Some stuff. Do we get there? I mean, they have to answer Ulamog. So they need, like, removal for Sakura Tribe Elder plus Liliana for Ulamog. Unexpected results? <laughs> oh, I think we got the GG. Oh, man, we got there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, well, there's a lot of variants involved, but it kind of works. I can't believe I'm saying that. I thought this was the 05 Dream type deck. Bonnet thought these is, oh, they did have the Liliana. So keeping this Sakura Tribe Elder. And our opponent goes out on their own terms, and we finish with a 3-1. Unexpected Tron. Wow. Well... Speaking of unexpected, before the wrap-up, we should probably uh, keep the unexpected going and open this treasure chest. All right, come on. Let's get, a, let's get a hit. Let's get a hit with our last unexpected result. Come on, treasure chest. Ooh, Bitter Blossom. That's got to be worth it. That's got to be worth something, right? Right? And it's got to be a win. Bitter Blossom, Morning Tide. 15 ticks! 15 ticks. That is a win. All right, we got there. Unexpected results to the end. We spun the wheel one last time. Got a bitter blossom. Well, I don't know what to say, but I'll figure it out and be right back with a, with the wrap-up. So what did we learn this week about Unexpected Tron? And it went surprisingly well. 
Uh, I was not expecting the deck to really work as well as it did. In all honesty, I know I said results unexpected, could go 5-0, could go 0-5. I was definitely leaning more towards the 0-5 end of the scale, but if you look back on our matches, we went 3-2. and two. We also opened a Bitter Blossom in our treasure chest, which was unexpected, an actual valuable good treasure chest, which was sweet. So, But we finished 3-2 and two in our league, and we were actually super close to going... Four one. The Jun match, we arguably got unlucky in that match, or could have won that match, let's say. The only match where we really got outclassed was Burn, and even in our absolute worst matchup against Burn, we still had two spins. We had a spin each game with unexpected result. Of course they whiffed, and we got Secure Tribe Elders and Simic Signets, but in theory, we could have just hit an Emrakul in those scenarios and won those games as well. So, the deck worked 1,000 times better than I expected it to work. A 3-2 finish with Unexpected Tron is great. The fact that we were 4-1 or could have been 4-1 if we ran a little bit better, got a little bit luckier with our Unexpected Results and our opponent got a little unluckier with their Bloodbraid Elves uh, is even better. And the fact that we had a chance to beat Burn, which is just a miserable matchup, was even better. So... The deck looks insane on paper, but it actually functioned way better than I thought. Like, you could take this deck in its current form to an FNM, and you would win some games with it. I don't know if you'd win the FNM, because it seems like there are some bad matchups, but unexpected results means you always have a chance. You can always just cast it on turn three in just about any matchup, and if you're lucky enough, you just win the game, and even if you're, like, slightly unlucky, you still can essentially win the game. So, I don't know. The deck is way, way, way better than... I thought. I do think it's a little bit excessive. Like, uh, I don't know if we need the two Omnisciences. We took those out almost every match. I think we could probably play something in that slot, a counter spell, a lightning bolt, something like that to interact with our opponent. So that would be one suggestion. The other thing about the deck that I really didn't like is the sideboard. The sideboard is just... Uh, it's pretty bad, I think. I believe that that's probably the biggest failing of the deck. So in the sideboard, we have Dictate of Karametra, which... I don't know when you will ever bring that in. We also have four summoning traps, so we have more than half of our sideboard dedicated to backup ways of cheating Eldrazi into play. The nature's claims, they're fine, although we could probably use maybe an ancient grudge or two alongside them, like maybe two nature's claims, two ancient grudges, something along those lines. Also, negates, they're fine as well, but I feel like maybe we just cut the dictates of Karametra and can use those slots on more good cards. cards that can interact with our opponent, give us a chance in our bad matchups, like Kitchen Finks would go so far against Bird and decks like that. Something like Anger the Gods would also help against Aggro, which that is our sketchy matchup. If our opponent's just going to town with Affinity or other Aggro decks, we're really going to struggle there. We're just not really built for that. So I feel like we could cut down a little bit on the excesses of this deck. Maybe we don't need 16 cards that cost 10 or more mana. We could probably drop the omnisciences, still be pretty fine. We could probably change up the sideboard, make it a little bit more competitive, but even with those failings, the deck still put up a winning record, and it was close to putting up the 4-1 record. The other thing I wanted to mention in specific in the wrap-up was Blast of Genius was a surprise all-star. I was shocked by how often we just cast Blast of Genius and killed people. So many modern decks get themselves down to 15 or less life. People are playing Dark Confidants. They're fetching. They're playing Death Shadows and shocking themselves with their lands. So it is not unlikely that our opponent's going to get themselves down from 10 to 15 life, somewhere in that range, especially against our deck, because they look at our deck and they're like, all right, they're not playing lightning bolts. They're not playing any way to really pressure our life total. So we're pretty safe to like play our mana on tap, shock ourselves a bit. If they play a huge Eldrazi, they're going to beat us anyway. Our life total is not that relevant. So our opponents get themselves down to that point, And then we just blast for like 15 mana, 12 mana, 11 mana, and really catch opponents by surprise with Blast of Genius. So we got to the point where our opponent actually cast a Memoricide or Cranial Extraction to get rid of our Blast of Genius. That's how scary that card was for some of our opponents so I maybe even just going up to the fourth copy would be correct because 
Apart from just slamming Eldrazi, uh, unexpected results, obviously high variance. Eldrazi, they're insane, clearly, when we cast them, but they're slow. Blast of Genius was probably the best card in our deck a lot of the time, which sounds really shocking, because it doesn't jump off the page as modern playable or even close to it, but it was actually incredibly good in this deck, so maybe going full four would be worth it. So, anyway, that's been Unexpected Tron. Maybe something is actually here, like... Just just can't complain. I'm still shocked. I'm just still in a state of shocked amazement that we actually managed to go 3-2 and almost 4-1 with this deck. So, like I said, drop the omniscience is get a little bit less crazy with the sideboard. Definitely get rid of the dictates. Maybe cut a couple of summoning traps. You're not going to be bringing them in anyway. We never really found a reason for it. Use those slots on Kitchen Finxes and Anger of the Gods and Pyroclasms and Ancient Grudges and things that can interact and fix some of our bad matchups against Aggro because that's the biggest problem with the sideboard plan is it doesn't really improve our bad matchups. It's fine I guess at helping us combo more like giving us additional ways to cast Eldrazi which is what our deck wants to do, but just having more ways to cast our Eldrazi doesn't necessarily help us if we're dying on turn three to an aggro deck where Anger of the Gods Kitchen Finks, that would buy us time to let our unexpected results, to let our Tron lands take over and win us the game that way. So anyway, that's been Unexpected Tron for Modern. That's our Much Brew deck for this week. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.